enzymes, your lipogenic enzymes, and we have a nice balance of fat release and enzymes, your lipolytic enzymes. That's what we should have anyway. But this is what happens, we have a very sad fat cell, and think of billions, 30 billion these sad little things. When we diet, or after diet, we typically double the amount of fat stored enzymes. What is it? Literally, I was in a famine, I need to store fat, it increases the fat stored enzymes, and halves the amount of fat release enzymes. So you can see how this puts us in this real perpetual cycle. And this accumulates every time we diet. We typically hear this, I hear this all the time in the nutrition programs. They say, I went on this diet, and it worked for a while. And some, you know, unless it was really fatty, I might have felt okay. Let's say, you know, I gain a bit of weight and I keep getting bigger and bigger. And people's weight goes up with age. And people just told it's age. It's not. It's this process accumulating with age. <laughs> so, what happens when you diet? So she's an example of low calorie diet, probably the most well known. You know, cut your calories. Realistically, you know, the World Health Organization say when you get below two, 2,000, uh, sorry, 2,000 to 2,200 calories, you're actually in starvation mode. You're actually going to get illnesses from malnutrition. So when you hear people on 1,500 calorie a day diets, 500 calorie, uh, calorie, you know, a day calorie diets, it's just ludicrous. It really is very, very unhealthy. But Let's give an example of what actually happens to your body when you cut calories. So the body says famine. It doesn't say diet, it doesn't say nice social event, I want to look hot. Okay? So the body kicks into this survival mode and the first thing it wants to do is store the fat. It wants to save the fat. It's very efficient, it's meant to store nutrition. So it says, this is, you know, I'm low on fuel, what do I keep? I keep the thing which doesn't need much energy. You know, if you had uh, if the price of petrol went up, you're probably going to drive your small economical car more in your big monster truck. I'm looking at you, Betty, monster truck. <laughs> so the body increases its fat store enzymes, or hypogenic enzymes. And the research shows that low calorie diets at least doubles fat store enzymes. And women already have double to men. So that's, this is low calorie diet. So the body reduces its fat release and enzymes. And research shows low calorie diets half lipolytic enzymes. Ugh, even more for me. And women already have less than men. The body starts to break down muscle tissue first. I said muscle tissue requires a lot of energy, about 14 times more energy. So that's why people lose muscle first. And that's why we often see them in, in, in the clinic here, because you lose muscle tissue around a week back, you blow this. That's how we often see it quickly after, after a diet, a lot of injure themselves. And our metabolism slows. A lot of people are being diagnosed with underactive thyroids because the thyroid gland is slowing to protect your metabolism. It's one of the reasons why it slows. It doesn't always have to be a diseased organ or gland to be affected. It often slows to protect us. And that's why people feel very lethargic on low calorie diets. They're not just hungry, they're actually very tired. Your fat cells enlarge, so they physically get bigger. And the body produces intense cravings to stop the famine. A craving isn't just one of these random things, it's a symptom. Just like if your elbow swelled when you're at certain food or if you didn't do something. When you're sitting there thinking, I could murder a biscuit. You know, oh, I'm starving hungry. If, if I go about food, I'll, I won't be very pleasant to live with. No, no, no. no. Um, no. So when you get these cravings, it should be ignored. It is actually a, a, real, a real symptom. And if there's tremendous physiological and psychological stress, so that's a low calorie diet. Short term result, temporal reduction in weight. Most low calorie diets for most people will lose weight initially, but it is predominantly as muscle and often as water. That's why you feel a lot when you start going to diet. However, the real result is you're now twice efficient in storing fat, you're half sufficient releasing fat, your fat cells are enlarged, your body is primed so that the very next food you eat will attempt to be stored and your body will regain the weight back. Generally it's fat, not as muscle, so you won't, you won't come back as the same person, you'll come back as a fatter uh, person. And you'll generally gain about four pounds in addition. If the body goes for a family, it wants to up your default weight. And this is one of the reasons why people's sort of general weight goes up. Most people have some fluctuation, but most people say that, you know, when I was in, I used to weigh 12 stone, then I was always 13, it kind of goes up and up. And that's one diet cycle, okay? So it, it can be reversed, but the more people have been doing dieting, the more the system gets ingrained, the more efficient it becomes.